Parents and school leaders in Johnson County want to know how a young child was able to get a hold of a gun and then try to bring it to school. Another student found out about the gun in the student's backpack while on the bus this morning. Our Rich and I spent the day in New Whiteland talking to school leaders and parents about this startling discovery. The superintendent says this happened on the first bus to arrive at school Wednesday morning. The students were waiting to get off the bus and go into school when another boy told the bus driver about the gun. That's what we have taught them. Uh, you know, that's what I know is taught throughout all of the state of Indiana is to report any incident that's a threat, that has a, a firearm, that is a concern, and that's what was done today. And we're, again, thankful for those actions. The bus driver confiscated the gun on the school bus in front of Break O'Day Elementary. The boy who allegedly brought the gun from home was apparently showing it to other kids on the bus. The boy was only described as upper elementary age. The bus should have video of the incident. I'm sure that that kid showing the weapon around probably didn't realize what he was actually doing. So I don't blame the kid, I, I blame the parents. Michael Bennett has a daughter in first grade at the school. She rides a different bus. He says the parents have to be held accountable. The parents need to be in jail. Simple as that, like it's, it can't be a slap on the wrist. They need to serve jail time. Any criminal charging decision will be up to the prosecutor. Michael plans a serious talk with his daughter after school. I'll probably have to show her a picture of what a gun is, unfortunately, just, just so she's aware of, of what a weapon looks like. And then I'll just tell her that if, uh, if you ever see one, go and tell an adult. That's what a boy apparently did here Wednesday morning. In New Whiteland, Rich Nye, 13 News.